put in this um, short notice. I uh, will start by first of all saluting the heroic, patriotic, courageous members of the PDP National Working Committee who courageously, even though belated, but courageously have risen up to set the path for the total rescue of our party that have been held hostage by agents of the APC working through the former national chairman, Omar Damago. So I will start by, first of all, like I said before, salute this National Working Committee member, members who are in majority and have invoked the necessary provisions of Article 29, Sub 2, 3 of the party constitution and form the necessary quorum which is um, uh, two-third of members and in compliance with Article 29.4, which requires simple majority to pass any motion. They have, uh, in a heroic manner and timely manner now, uh, decided to look into the childish and shameful anti-party activities of Omar Damago. And let me also start by saluting on behalf of the opposition family let me start by saluting and congratulating the new acting national chairman of pdp uh, honorable yayari ahmed mohammed who has uh, been sworn in as the acting national chairman of uh, uh, pdp the emergence of uh, yayari ahmed mohammed is in strict compliance with the provision of the party constitution. And the National Working Committee invoking the necessary provision under Article 57, Sub 7, and 58, Sub 1, which gives the party the powers to look into disciplinary actions against members of the National Executive uh, Committee, that they acted invoking those powers given them under Article 29 where they acted, the NWC acted on behalf of the NEC to invoke the provisions of Article 57 and Article 58 by suspending uh, the former disgraced national chairman Omar Damago from office and appointing uh, Yayari Ahmed Mohammed as the new acting chairman of PDP. As the highest ranking officer in view of the suspension of uh, Omar Damago and other uh, renegade national officers of the party who embarked on uh, the you know shameful anti-party activities because of uh, 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 selfish, greedy political and material uh, interests have paved the way for the highest officer from the northern part of the country, which is uh, Yayari Ahmed Mohammed, to assume office as the national acting national chairman of the party. And also, the opposition coalition wants to salute the decision also of the National Working Committee, led by uh, Yayari Ahmed Mohammed, to restate their commitment to the October 24th National Executive Committee meeting of the party that is coming up. This is a meeting that uh, the former chairman, Omar Damago, have been plotting and running around court with his uh, friends in the uh, APC uh, uh, group, the Nwike group, seeking and shopping for injunction to stop the, the, the holding of the October 24th meeting so that he can continue to stay in office illegally. So we appreciate the decision of the Yayari Ahmed Mohammed led leadership to restate their commitment that this lawful statutory meeting of the party, which is long overdue, will hold as planned on 24th October 2024. And also to, to appreciate their commitment to refer the allegations of anti-party activities against Omar Damago and his uh, renegade uh, gang to the necessary organs of the party. And the words are pleased that the decision for this suspension is also in line with the provision of section Article 47, Article 57, and Article 58 of the party constitution. And also 
it's important that one of the fair allegation against uh, Omar Damago, the former national chairman, is his shameful decision to, on behalf of the party, without authority of the necessary organs of the party and the legal advisor, to secretly, with the national secretary, shamelessly, shamelessly, in a childish manner, a national chairman of a political party that carries the burden of Nigerians that is expecting redemption, writes a letter to a court and said that the court should continue a case that, if it is successful, will pave way for the impeachment of a PDP governor that he is the national chairman. This is an act of political treason. There is no... It's, it's, I don't know whether these people have children who are trying to say, Daddy, what are you doing? For how much? Is he awaiting C of O for land? Or what, is, what are they holding you with that is making you do this shameful act? Plus other numerous anti-party activities that they have carried. Electing members of APC as our state uh, 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 executive committee members at almost over 15 states. Handing over the party structure to those who have said that PDP cannot be allowed to win any election again. This sacked Chairman Damago was busy signing off the state executive in Benue, Totom, in Enugu, in a different locations, in Rivers, to cut carrying members of APC. So that before 2027, they will elect for us the presidential candidate of our own party. This is somebody the party made an ambassador. This is somebody the party have helped. There's nothing he has done in his private life that have been as beneficiary as being in PDP, where he rose to the peak of his uh, political career. But for whatever reason, even if it is you're among those who they are holding with a uh, waiting sea of oh, they are suddenly you want to sell that political party. And also, I will want to caution the I saw the we saw the statement that was signed after they have been caught pan down and suspended, they hurriedly used uh, a staff of the party secretariat. One, uh, I don't know her name, nor almost, I don't know the name of the person, a staff of the secretariat, to issue a statement that they have now suspended the National Legal Advisor and the National Public Secretary. Such a stupid and foolish afterthought that is dead on arrival. You caught somebody doing bad, you caught somebody doing, committing political treason, you give him the punishment he deserves, and then he uses a secretariat at the lobby of the party secretariat to say, oh, we have suspended you people in return. That statement is baseless and childish and does not watch the tissue paper upon which it was written. Also very important is we will keep condemning and keep raising alarm over the decision of this pro wiki APC back group in PDP to keep dragging our judiciary and willing judges into this naked dance of shame, thereby debasing the integrity of our judicial system. After God here on earth, the judgment you are supposed to receive is one that comes from court. And, and, and the heartbeat of justice is not just the judgment the judge is delivering, but the perception by the ordinary man that justice must be seen to have been done in that judgment. That is the the, the capital. When you debase that, when you destroy that, and then tell people come in any injunction you grant, from the same federal high court that gave a rule on political expertise. Now, expertise applications are flying like the missile Israel is firing into Iran. From the federal high court. Bam, bam, left, right, and center. When you think they should stop, they continue. And the new CJN have not picked up his phone to call the CJ said, what is going on with this expert? Is it that you cook, you people cook it overnight or what? On every political issue, they come and then you issue it uh, uh, to them. It's on that light that we are shocked. When after the NWC have met, consider the heinous case of anti-party activities against Omar Damago and his gang and suspended them in line with Article 58 and 57, and the powers they have under Article 29. So Suddenly, <laughs> Nigerians, a judge that is on vacation, a judge that is on vacation, not around, suddenly, news now came out 
that they have granted an order that Damago should not be removed from office till 2025 or 2200. I don't even know the number of years they gave to him. And I heard the judgment was read via Zoom. Via Zoom. But unfortunately for those who must have pushed for that, the National Working Committee decision came before they could, you know, hurriedly put together whatever they did. The, the decision, and it's important Nigerians pay attention to that. The National Working Committee have met, considered the cases of anti-party activities against Omar Damago and his group, and suspended them from the party. And also appointed Yayare Ahmed Mohammed, the current national treasurer who is the highest ranking officer from the nation of the other guys. And uh, Yayare Ahmed Mohammed has also assumed office and taken his oath of office and is now the acting national chairman of the party. After all this process, you know, legal and constitutional process have been completed. This pro we came back to APC group parading in our party as members. Now I started sharing on social media that there's a judgment that I have issued an order. Well, the order that you are purporting, even though nobody has seen the judgment or copy of it, oh, nobody has seen it, oh. hmm. but for whatever they are doing, the acts you, are, you rush to stop have already been completed. So whatever it is you did, good for you. But the issue of your suspension, the issue of appointment of Yayari Ahmed Mohammed, his swearing in has already been completed. So if you like, you can go and bring a fresh action to seek to void the decision of the National uh, uh, Working Committee. But I must also remind you of other judgments of the court for which they probably have gotten in the past. Because their own judgment will rub them this time around that these things are issues of internal affairs of a political party. Now, so as we get ready for election in Ondo, I will advise our party members, because we have just gotten intelligence, that when you finish meeting with APC people, he's one of the close friends to Aida, uh, the governor of Ondo, APC. And he will come to Ondo to come and raise the hand of our governorship candidate, to bring misfortune to him, to soil it. So I'm urging PDP members in the uh, Ondo, don't let him come and spoil your campaign. If he comes here, boo him. He's no longer the national chairman of the party. Give him the disgrace he deserves, because he's one of the reasons why our party is weakened in the Southwest, them and their group. And same for our party members come 24th uh, October convention. Every party member must mobilize. At times, when you keep keeping silent for uh, uh, political evil, the audacity continues to grow. So, through part uh, in Ondo, as the campaign is being flagged off, do your campaign, but if he comes near your campaign, boo him, give him the disgrace he deserves as a traitor, as a political traitor that he is for bringing disgrace and shame to one of Africa's most beautiful and admired political platform, for reducing it to what we used to have with a AMPP and CPC when some renegade people hijacked it against Buhari and were doing the biddings of other political parties. So watch out for him because I've been told it's coming. And it's just coming at a time. You can see the allegation of him going to London and trying to see uh, the APC uh, leader, President Tinubu, and he's a national chairman of the party. He has not even you know, cleared himself from that allegation. So, and also at this point, I want to also call on three governors in PDP. One is Governor Kelly, who respect him in the opposition, so say a friend of mine. And I also call on uh, Governor uh, Ahmad Fintri, the governor of uh, Adamawa State, and Governor Makinde, Sheyi Makinde, the governor of uh, Oyo State. What are you people doing? The information available is that three of you are the ones adding that Damagu, an APC agent that you know very well, with an agenda to ensure that PDP is destabilized and removed from the ballot. But you people 
are going all over the place trying to get people to support that Damago should remain in office. We have had so many rumors that they are giving you people the AD option. But in that AD option, I will remind you people when Bola, Ige, and Obasin Jordan were in that alliance. Apart from Bola and Metin, some of the AD governors were told to sabotage their party. In return, they will be allowed to keep their state. Some of them agreed to commit that political uh, antipathy for their own personal interest. Apart from Governor Bola Ahmed Tinubu then, who was smart to understand that these things may not look like the way it is being offered and did the backup plan to save himself. The other AD governors, Oshoba, uh, 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 Akande, uh, 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 Ade Farage, uh, uh, a lot of them. That's how when Gadene became governor under PDP, Fayo Shedem came, and a whole lot of other other guys who came. After they finished electing the president, it was your tent, O Israel. The government then descended on them. Because there's candidates running in those places who, who were not part of that, your deal. They descended on them. And those governors were defeated. And they lost. They couldn't complete their term in office. So if somebody is now offering you and taking you to the president, because I heard that's one, the one in FCT is not good at doing, offering that, oh, if you help us break PDP, if you help us destroy PDP, that will help you to return as governor in uh, Plateau State. They will help you return as governor or choose a successor in Oyo State. They will help you choose a successor in Adamawa State. So in return, you can get one one-legged uh, person for us and then put him as a presidential candidate. You go and be drinking, and the election will be over. Congratulations. This is why. At least I know Governor Shei Makinde, a man who succeeded in business in all your services. You made billions of naira. You had a background. Your father raised you very well. But when I see the kind of people you follow, when I see the kind of people who now, who now push you to do their biddings, and I begin to wonder, is this the Shei Makinde that we know? Are you overrated or what? Why would somebody be pushing you people against your own party? The election has come and gone. People have caused the failure of the party. No problem. Are we still in that post, in that pre-2023 uh, 20, issues? The election has come and gone. Your friend ran and lost. And you people know. In Nego Square, we can lost. Article 1. And you know the issue of Enyendebe, Enyendebe, I don't know what that thing is. And all these policies of justice and equity and fairness, you know very well that he wanted to be a vice president. There was even voting in some of the votings, people voted for him, even those he thought was his enemy, like uh, 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 Tambu Adam. They all voted that he should be VP. There was other votings also. At the end of the day, there was different result, and the presidential candidate made his choice. So, what I want to ask you people, search your conscience because Nigerians know the truth. So what you are saying, if your friend Wiki had become became vice president and data because he's desperately wanted, what happened to this noise of justice, equity, and fairness we are hearing? So everybody knows that it's not about justice and equity and fairness. Because if there should be justice, he should not have been running the place that should have produced that presidential candidate should have been South East. Because Sasa just finished under Jonathan as VP and as presidential as president. So it's not about it's about greed, political greed of one individual. But how you people have become servants to that, you know, desperate quest and ambition at your level is what I don't understand. Party members are now more worried about you people. And I will advise you people, please, in the interest of innocent members of the party, in Oyo, in Adamawa, in Plateau, in other parts of the country, for their interest, apply break, our leaders. Apply break. It does not worth it. How can you say the provision of Article 45? And I have read it the other day when I had Governor Fintry say, Oh, my Damago can remain in office to the second coming of. And I said, Yes, Nancy, go and read. Maybe this, all these lawyers that are, that are gathering, I don't know where they read their own law, who can serve any master, who can do anything. Maybe they have misinterpreted it for you. Now go and look at page 83. 
Article 45 that says, in the case of the national chairman, he shall hand over to the deputy national chairman from his own region, who shall without prejudice to section Article 47C of this party constitution, act as national chairman pending the election of a replacement. So that the former chairman Damago became acting chairman by virtue of Article 45.2. And that is without prejudice to say Section 47C. So the question you now ask, Your Excellency, is what is Section 47C? 47C says clearly, where a vacancy occurs in any of the offices of the party, the neck at the appropriate level, shall, the word here is shall, your excellency, shall, shall appoint another person from the area, area, or zone, zone, there's mention of region here, it's not a position zone to not, it's not central, that's the zone, and the area, Benue or whatever area, you want to go by area, so you give an option of area or zone, so it can be from FCT, can be from Kogi, can be from Plato, can be from anywhere. So where a vacancy occurs in any offices of the party, the executive committee at the appropriate level shall appoint another person from the area or zone where the officer originated, that is the HRU, from, to serve the tenure of the officer. Serve the tenure of the officer. For goodness sake, what is all these things now? Is Nigeria so is Nigeria a, a, a forest or what is all these things? Why is our dogs behaving like this? Should we be over this over and over again? The constitution says you shall shall. And then a judge of federal high court, an internal affair of a party, the pro wicked group goes to Justice Leafy. And then this express provision of this party constitution. That the, the deputy national chairman will assume under Article 45, pending the calling of neck meeting to appoint an acting chairman. The former chairman Damago assumed and refused to call a neck meeting. If you call him today, he says it's Easter. Tomorrow he says it's Muslim holiday. Another one he says most members went to Hajj. Another one he said they went to Israel. He keeps changing the date. Since one year now. Since one year. But the constitution was very clear that the acting chairman should, shall is the word, automatically be appointed to complete the reminder of that thing. Nigerians, a judge of a federal high court, now gives a judgment saying that Omar Damago, who this same constitution, said is to act and call a meeting where the neck will appoint a substantive chairman to complete the tenure of the North Central. A federal high court is now purported and people are saying now that there is a purported order that this woman, Madame Magu, who is not a national chairman, whose only job as deputy national chairman is to call a meeting where the substantive chairman will emerge, that he cannot stay in office and be PDP full-time national chairman till whenever PDP will have a national convention. I hope members of NJC are listening to understand why I, why I said not just delivering judgment, but even the man on the street must believe that judgment is seen to have been done. Where is the justice here? In the express provision of it. That is how this party was thrown into crisis because of the greed of one man. He didn't make any sustainable substantial contribution to the party other than crisis and anarchy. So what brought me to, to this is that the coalition urged me to appeal to Governor Sheyi Makinde. He has had a robust career as a private sector person, succeeded, at least when he filled his code of conduct, we saw the tax return. He had paid tax in billions, unlike some of those people who people believe you are working for, have not done any business or paid any tax, for, but they are suddenly billionaires disturbing people left, right and centre. At least we know your business. We know how you rose. Then Governor Caleb of Plateau State and Governor uh, Fintri of Adamawa State. Please, party members and coalition are urging me to people back off from aiding 
the APC interests of Damago to factionalize, divide, and destabilize the party and hang on to a power that is not his own. That is why I took time to read this question, which I have read last time for my good friend, Governor Fintry, that there's no provision here that says Damago should complete the tenure of another zone. That I urge you to go and take this constitution, Article 45 and Article 47 C that he can act without any injury to Article 47. And what is that 47? That the neck will meet, the word there is shall, mandatory, appoint an acting chairman from North Central to complete that term. Now they now go and get a court and mislead the court to say that Damago cannot be in office till the second coming of this thing. Forever. For what interest? So, having said that, and having read out the express provision of Article 47, Article 57, sorry, and 58 of the party constitution, and also Article 29, uh, 3 uh, of, the, of the party constitution, I want to use this opportunity to commend the BOT of our party for making an attempt that will help in resolution of this matter. But the BOT must be assertive. The BOT must be strong in its condemnation of this joke we have witnessed in the party in the last one year. So I call on the BOT as a conscience of the party to join the leaders of the party to ensure that the writing is done on October 24th, 2024. On enormous, decent setting and society. Emergency neck could have been summoned immediately without giving much time to address this um, uh, issue. And also, let me also appreciate um, the National Publicity Secretary and also the National Legal Advisor, the National Treasurer, and other NWC members who, despite threats, that they will not get a land allocation. They will not get the alleged building they say they are building to people that are dashing they are using now for Saraka left, right, and center. They say, if this is what we should be hoping for, that will lead to destruction of our party and the hope of our people for a constructive opposition, let them live with that shelter over their head. Let them live with that land. And these great men now stood, despite all threats, to show the light for our party. And I believe strongly that other leaders of this party will join them to ensure that not only that we support Yayari Ahmed Mohammed, our new acting chairman, that we ensure that October 24th a National uh, Executive Committee meeting is held successfully with North Central producing the acting chairman. And also I've been mandated to also inform the North Central PDP leaders that in view of the fact that there is vacancy and a uh, abandonment of responsibility by the zonal uh, leadership that have been mandated to appoint an acting zonal leadership and hold a caucus meeting and present a consensus candidate that they should forward in a letter to the national leadership of the party led by Yayari Ahmed Mohammed that will be considered at the next next meeting. Don't wait for anybody. Those who have refused to conduct a meeting in North Center those who are supposed to show leadership are working for APC. So you don't need to get your permission from Oma Ganduje or Tinubu before your North Central Zona meeting can hold. Save yourself because they have cut a deal. And that deal is that as long as they continue to sabotage the PDP, burning it to the ground, that when election comes and they support the APC, that when the governorship election comes, they will be supported to either choose a successor or get their re-election. Everybody knows that. So are you going to wait for such people? You do that which is needful. And I want to, on behalf of the opposition family, I've also been mandated to plead with the National Judicial Council, the NJC. You should not only wait for when petition is written to you. You are watching all this drama. Because the integrity of this institution that was handed over to us by our founding fathers is being destroyed by those who feel it doesn't matter. Just go and do it. Do it by Zoom, do it by telephone, just, just issue it. What they are issuing and destroying does not belong to them. What they are making mockery of does not belong to them. So at times, 
as the conscience of the bar and the bench, you act even with that petition to stop these things that is happening. We cannot turn the judiciary into something that looks like a party primary field. That people are shooting and throwing bombs by the kind of pronouncement coming out from there. We have taken, we are compiling the list. About 32 cases, over 15 expertise. Some filed in 10 minutes, expertise issued and abandoned. We are compiling it. We we'll send it to you people. But even before that time, plus the lawyers, the senior lawyers who are involved in this show of shame all over the place. Instead of LPDC looking for them, they are looking for uh, opinion models who are even, you know, who are the conscience of the people. Okutepa, uh, 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 Dejidem, and so on and so forth. Maswell, my humble self, you are targeting us to silence us. Instead of going after those who either by their participation in the process has brought, you know, disgrace to the profession. Nigerians are beginning to lose confidence in the judicial process because of this pronouncement. There are distant judges all over the place, but their name is also being sought by action of some other few. It's only the NJC that can step forward and look at what is happening at that federal high court. The other day, the provision of the constitution on the government was very clear. It's automatic. People left the PDP, the camped on the floor of the State House of Assembly in reverse. And when they finished, they came outside, they were waving APC flag, singing on your mandate, we shall stand, celebrating it. A very stupid decision that they are now living to regret. And in order to amend for it, they are debasing our judicial institution and trying to cover something that NJC, Nigerians, everybody know the day this pro wicked sack lawmakers decamped. They did not only decamp on the floor of their house that it was transmitted by Chinese TV. They also swore affidavit. Is it that our affidavit has become tissue paper now that when people swear it and then they abandon it and nothing happens to them? Is it not perjury and forging? They swore to affidavit that they have left as of December 11. They swore to affidavit and filed in court. They did not stop at that. They were received by the APC leadership in River State in a rally where they justified the reason for their decamment at the time there was no division in PDP. But in the judgment in court, the court said they didn't see it. The pictures are not clear. They didn't see the affidavit is not clear. I don't know what they were saying. The same affidavit that is before you, the court. And then the court now finally said that issue of decampment is not pre-election matter. I had expected MBA to go gaga. I had expected LPDC to go after them. I had expected NJC to act. That a constitutional provision on cross carpeting that was put there to ensure sustainability of the mandate people give to lawmakers. The Federal High Court now said is a pre election, but thereby making it practically impossible to hold anybody who decamps when there is no division in a party accountable. So we are now rewriting all our constitutional laws because of the greedy interests of one man. That's belittling to the Nigerian nation. Very belittling. Very belittling. And I said that inability to act can show that all of us are part of that conspiracy. And that the consequence is always disastrous. That is why I always keep repeating about this kind of, you know, incidences from 1960, 63, 65, 67, 83, 84. Whether security agencies getting involved in doing the beating of those who call themselves that they have federal might from Abuja. Or federal judiciary issuing judgment to undermine the states or political thought armed shooting and killing people not being held accountable but all these things led to the collapse of our republic in the 60s and 80s and that the citizens will not support i have never supported those kind of things and that's what we are pleading and let's not live in a glass house and be throwing stone nigerians are recording their level, their confidence level in executive is dropping. Their confidence level in parliamentary is dropping. Their confidence level in judiciary is dropping. So if anything happens now, they will not care. As lovers of this democracy, that's what we're saying. We cannot, because of one man's interest, now destroy what our founding fathers handed over to us. The campment is not a pre-election matter. 
even when the government happens after you have been elected and sworn into office how can it be pre-election go to the constitution and read and read what constitutes pre-election but that judgment is standard no uproar from mba or lpdc or njc on how did the campaign cross carpeting become a pre-election matter that will now be start too bad so how do i know when it's not start too bad and that passed legal representation that a national leadership of party is supposed to choose court say it is the state chapter in another case again the court says it's national because of one man's interest Nigeria is the epicenter of democratic activism in Africa. We help nations like South Africa to fight apartheid. We support a judicial system of different countries, Tanzania and so on and so forth. How can we now lie and people are watching us and people are laughing at us? That's why you now, people who have lost their seats, you now go to court, say National Assembly should not declare your seat vacant, budget should not be passed, so there will be anarchy, and then President intervened. The governor of River State being a, a, a man that likes peace. We drew the case in as agreed as respect to the president, even though some of us saw that arrangement as unconstitutional. But they went to the back. They sit fully and obtained a judgment at his back that said, oh, somebody who is no longer a lawmaker is now the speaker. Speak of where? There's other decisions and declaration of those seats vacant that have not been voided by a court upon which Oke Jumbo is rightfully Today, as I speak, the Speaker of River State House of Assembly. But one man wants the whole place to go up in flames. And people are keeping quiet. Local government election, you say you want. They say they want to do. You say no. You extend the law. You say they can stay in office. Those who think you have expired, they can stay in office forever. As that's one other enough, you go and obtain an expert order. Don't allow the state to assess their allocations and the local government allocations. That's anarchy. I said that wasn't enough. You obtain an order again. Oh, don't release voter register that have already been released. That is with them. They do election. He said, don't swear them in. They swear them in. The next thing, strange, police withdraw, security men and council headquarters. The next morning, they went with dynamite and wanted to burn down an entire 23 local government headquarters of the local government system. Now, just you understand what these people did? An arm of government, a constitutional arm of government, enshrined inside the constitution. Somebody gave that directive. His supporters were burning down, burning down, a norm of government. They forwarded the necessary petition to the foreign mission for visa ban to arrest some of them and their families. They burned down arms of government. Police did not do anything while they were burning it. Just to make sure that the democratic process had been completed, does not worry there be anarchy so there can be emergency. We forgot the Supreme Court have delivered judgment. Even if there's an emergency, it's to increase security. Democratic structures cannot be removed because you're not the one who put it there. The process of removing governance is clear. Sort of majesty cannot remove a government, but they believe they can do it. And they started bombing and destroying local government headquarters. Governments have been burned down. People have not been paraded because some of them claim they are working for the president. Nobody has been arrested up to now after burning down arms of government. That means somebody can burn down state government. Somebody can burn federal government. Somebody can destroy it. That's what people mean if they, if they keep quiet. Because other people now who have resources can do worse, following from the fact that another arm of government, local government, have been burnt and people celebrated it. So somebody can attempt to burn down a state government to a federal government. That's why I say, let us not keep silent in the face of this madness. What we are condoning today can consume us. That's why there must be decisive action. Not just by the president, who those people are parading and claiming to be working for, by the relevant security agents, especially the police. They must do something about these whole issues. So, on a final, on a final note, let me congratulate once again the new courageous, patriotic, and hardworking acting national chairman of PDP, Honorable Yayari Ahmed Mohammed, who the National Working Committee, in compliance with the provisions of Section 45, 47. Section 58, Section 57, and Section 29 of the PDP Constitution have appointed as acting national chairman of our great party after the suspension of the now inducted Omar Damagu and his renegade gang who vowed. Maybe because, the, as people are alleging, they are waiting for their own CFO. 
and vowed that they will sing their own party, writing letters to court so that cases that will help the party is, you know, lost so that their governors can be removed. So we thank the National Working Committee, we thank the, 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 the public secretary who have been steadfast. What is the offense of our public secretary? He issued a statement that the election in reverse local government election must be allowed to go on. One big one, one big man somewhere saw it as an affront because he is in APC, he's in PDP, he owns the two parties. And they say, oh, the public secretary must be sidelined. What is the offense of the legal advisor? He wrote a letter that a case that if it is successful, we see our own governor removed by people who are no longer lawmakers. He fight to discontinue that uh, suit in the exercise of his constitutional power under the apathy constitution. The big man feels, oh, the legal advisor should be removed. That is why they attempted, the belated attempt to remove them, which failed. So the NWC is now on, but thank God that these great NWC members has proved to the whole world that this NWC is not owned by anybody. With their courageous decision to invoke the provision of Article 57 and 58 of the party constitution and suspending Omar Damago and the National Secretary and others from office and appointing uh, Honorable Bright Honorable uh, Yahya, uh, Yayari Ahmed Mohammed as our acting national chairman. And also salute them for restating and reaffirming that October 24th National Executive Committee meeting we are the North Central who feel the acting national chairman as, as spelled out under Article 45 and 47 of the party constitution must hold as scheduled, despite ongoing moves by the deposed Damago and his gang to secure another order. Like I said before, they have it in their pocket. So once you suspend them, they, they put a date because they're the only one that shares it. This afternoon, they're the one that started sharing this one. The other ones, they used to share it even 30 minutes after filing their process. And they talk about it in Biapa. So I want to thank members of this party, and I want to thank the National Working Committee and the BOT and other stakeholders that we must come together. That is the duty we owe to our children, children. That is the duty we owe to our founding father. Wherever, Elise Kweme, Adamu Chiroma, Solomon La, Kwande, Abu Bakarimi, and other great leaders of this party. They will be so proud this afternoon by the courage displayed by the National Working Committee to depose Omar Damago, who has brought so much shame and disrespect to our party constitution and appointing uh, Honorable Yayari Ahmed Mohammed as our acting national chairman. Congratulations, Mr. Chairman, and congratulations to the National Working Committee and other members of the party. Together, we will rescue the PDP, rebuild it, rebrand it, move the PDP from not just an election winning platform to an agenda setting platform and set the course for the national political rebirth that will renew truly hope in Nigeria. Thank you and God bless.